Hello guys and welcome back to another industrial foregoing tutorial and in this episode we will take a further look to the stasis chamber and the stasis chamber is created by three souls and two gas tiers, one advanced machine frame, one piston and at least two gold gears and the stasis chamber is um, made to freeze entities in her working area and we will take a look at the stasis chamber and here you can see the machine and you can uh, set the working area. Das ist so ein Quatsch, was ich erzähle. And again in 1, 2 and 3. Hello guys and welcome back to another industrial foregoing tutorial and in this episode we will take a look at the stasis chamber and the stasis chamber is created by three stores that two gas tiers, one advanced mesh and frame, one piston and at least two gold gears and the stasis chamber is for freezing is any entity in his working area and um, the stasis chamber you can uh, take a look how the stasis chamber is working in this area the stasis chamber will work and the stasis chamber needs uh, some energy uh, at first you can see we can uh, solve this energy problem we have here a creative energy cube we have a flux plug which is um, adding some energy in, into our flux network and we can uh, use a flux point like this to give uh, this stasis chamber some energy and if we take a look at the interface of the flux plug we can see that every two to three seconds we will need 1000 fe per tick and that's a, that's a very important thing because um, if you if the stasis chamber isn't working and isn't getting some energy um, you will have a problem with your wither or your entity you have spawned in maybe and um, normally it's a wither so we will create a, a, a wither like that no not like that that's uh, that's wrong and we need um, one like that and that and we need at least three skulls and we need to set up the difficulty as easy to, to spawn some entity and we can see that the river is spawning and um, I um, created the river directly up to the um, stasis chamber and um, directly up you can see also a fluid laser base and the fluid laser base we can take a look at the fluid laser base you can see that we already created 140 milli, milli buckets and on ether gas and um, you can see with a purple laser lens we are creating directly uh, um, some ether gas if we um, set up the fluid laser base directly on the top of the river. That means um, we have created an ether gas farm um, and um, if we take a look we can see that we also put use in 10 milli buckets here. Yeah, that's that's correct. And you can also increase the, um, the production of the laser base you can uh, use more laser drills, more add-ons and so on. That's a very basic setup here. And um, yeah, all what you need is a river and a stasis chamber with um, um, with energy, always powered. Um, if not, you have a problem. Maybe you can use uh, some hardened glass or some unbreakable um, blocks to secure your setup if you are losing sometimes your energy. Yeah, that's all to this desert chamber. Thanks for watching and bye.